is the Xtool F2 actually worth it? Should you spend the money? Because honestly, we have all these machines at different price points. While this is not my official review, I do want to give you a very short comprehensive review of the F2 compared to the other machines. I don't want you to make a wrong decision when buying this. And listen, I know I got my affiliate links below, so a lot of you may not trust me. I get it, but I put a lot of time into this, so if you give me a chance, I would love to earn your trust. But let's get into this. If you saw from my review, we had some amazing projects. Dang, what in the world? You see how fast that was? That knife engraved insanely fast. The cutting was top notch. It's definitely doing its job and this wallet just turned out amazing. Almost there, almost there. 29 seconds. And look at how beautiful that is. My gosh. Let me break this down as simple as I can, and I think this is gonna help a lot of people. When we are comparing the F1 to the F2 and the rest of the laser lineup, the F1 has a 10 watt blue diode and a two watt infrared. And if we look at my official review video of this, you can see all the projects that I have done, and it did it great. I didn't really experience anything bad with this laser, but when we move over to the F2, here's what I would like to say. This is like a four cylinder car with the F1. When we move to the F2, it's like a six cylinder car, right? We're getting a little bit more power. We have 15 watts of blue diode and five watts of infrared. This means deeper blacks, deeper etchings, faster cutting, deeper cutting, faster engraving, right? Everything performance wise is going to be taking up a notch. But how does that help you? I mean, should you save money with the F1 or go with the F2? That's gonna come down to your productivity because a lot of you, I'm just gonna say it right now, uh, you may not need the F2. You can save some money with the F1, especially if you have another laser, but if you are doing a lot of projects, F2 is faster. We are going from 4,000 millimeters a second speed to 6,000 millimeters a second speed. So that V6, right, has a little bit more power than that V4. How does the F2 compare to the F1 Ultra? And my gosh, I love this machine right here. While well, we have 20 watts of blue diode and 20 watts of true fiber power, we can cut and engrave materials so much faster, but where this really shines, you have way more versatility over the F2. Now, now this comes at a considerable price, right? <laughs> You're not gonna get out of the woods with this. I'll throw the price on the screen and you definitely can see the difference in the numbers there, but you are getting a lot more performance. This is more of a heavy production business laser. You can still do business with both of these and I've done it and made a lot of money. I would say that this is the eight cylinder of X-Tool lasers. We have the V4, the V6, and the V8. You're starting to get into that crazy power at this point. Now, if we compare the F1 Ultra to the F2 Ultra, what is this? I'll go ahead and tell you, it's the diesel, guys. This has 60 watts of MOPA and 40 watts of blue diode. Oh my gosh, everything changes on this laser right here. We have more finer control for color engraving on different types of steel. I'll throw a video up here. You can see some crazy results from my review. So everything that these three lasers do, the F2 Ultra is going to do it and it is going to do it insanely, extremely well. But with that being said, the F2 still has an advantage over these lasers. And I'll tell you what it is. It's placement accuracy with a 50 megapixel camera. Out of all the extra lasers that I've used, and I'm a camera guy, I mean, I have thousands of dollars of cameras around here. So when I zoomed in on the quality, when I was laying out a design using the camera system in the F2, the edges were crisp, it was clean, and the placement accuracy was absolutely insane. I'm just so dang excited. Tell me how it gets any better, I dare you. Just put it below because it doesn't. That's amazing. The whole process of putting material in the engraving bed, dropping in a design and lining everything up with a one-click settings. I will go ahead and say this is the easiest laser to use that X-Tool has made. In my official review, I'm gonna get into more things like color engraving, the deep black marks it can make, and just overall the production time it takes because honestly, you are getting an upgrade from the F1 to the F2. 
So with all that information, do you truly need the Xtool F2? Given my history with all these other lasers, this is the V4, the V6, the big V8, and the big diesel for hauling. And you have your hobby laser, which moves into business production lasers. Although you can do business production with this one right here. But the F2, guys, is gonna be hard to pass up if you're really on a budget and you want a Galvo laser that etches steel, the F1 is still gonna be great. As far as longevity wise for people out there that's looking ahead in the future, all of these three lasers DNA is now in this and a lot of those kinks that Xtol worked out early in production, they have already been solved. They have been making these models for a while. So they know what they're getting into with this laser. So I am very confident without my full review right now, this is going to be a fantastic laser for most people. For transparency's sake, like I said before, I have affiliate links and I know a lot of people's like, Matt, you may just be getting paid. I promise you this video is not sponsored. And while going through my links does help me at no extra cost to you, I will try to help you save the most money as you can if you do go through them. If you have been looking at lasers, I want to be a trusted source for you because I don't want to be up here just to hop something up. I have worked too long on this channel to do so. But with that being said, let's hop over to the computer. Something really cool that's going on is the Black Friday grand finale. Around this time of year, Xtool always runs different cells. You can see the metal fab here with a, the P3 and the F2 up to 28.58 off. So as we go down, you can see here all the marketing that Xtool is doing and you can save money. This is not like a sham. They do this, especially around this time of year. I'm not gonna go through here and explain each one, but if you are looking to save the most money, Black Friday is the time to buy. But if you want to get something before then, they are still running some awesome deals. So there we go, guys. Are you going to get the F2? What do you think about it? And I want to answer your questions, post them below, but so far, the F2 has been great. Now you're gonna have to wait on my official F2 review. They take me a little while to do because they're pretty complex for a simple video. So far, my honest experience from me to you, live for the camera, unscripted, just talking off the top of my head, the F2 has been absolutely tremendous. And as I stated earlier in another video, it is a punch above its weight machine for the price for what you get. So I think Xtol filled a certain niche with the F2 and all the F-Series lineup. And it's truly an awesome machine, guys, it really is. And I will tell you, if something was off but so far, my experience has been very positive. Anyway, guys, hit the bell notification, subscribe, so you will not miss content. I try to bring you the most competent, unbiased, straightforward, simple, articulated, and pontificated reviews that I can without the fluff. I appreciate you guys. Check the links below for the best deals, and I will see you in the official review video. Take care.